try to split our recording into three part okay so it will be easy for me to upload and for you also it will be easy to like complete one one recording otherwise if it will be three hour recording maybe it will be boring for you okay so let's go to document actually i created one folder you you also can create similar kind of things like create one like folder for this particular project and we will have lots of document code dremel and, and many things so maintain in proper way okay Okay, so let me check if I'm missing any other software. So first two days, we will be more focused on this software setups and everything. So I will take you through one by one each software. Just let me arrange everything and then we will start. So let's start with first software that will be any point platform account. Okay. So for this account, you need to go to this particular URL. Okay. So you need to go to this particular URL. Are you getting the same thing? It's keep loading or it's only for me? Same Robbie, question. Okay. okay. So Robbie, question. Here? Question, Ravi. Yes. Uh, so, like here, for example, if we have uh, any point studio before, if we downloaded any point studio, do you want us to create uh, uninstall that one and create? Uh, no, 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 no. We will use same. If you have okay. already. You uh -huh. will use it. So the version wouldn't matter even? The, the version, you know, 7.11, 7.4. Okay, no, no, no. It, it will not get any, any, okay. any problem. Okay, thank you.
so if you have already account so your account will expire in every one month if you have already account then well and fine otherwise you can select this sign up option okay and you need to fill your detail and you need to provide your valid email address and password here okay so sorry not valid email address so this will be your username okay let me remove this so you will come to know so username must be unique okay if you have already used some username then you will not able to use username so what format i follow okay personally like i have one format after this what i used to do every month i used to change month okay let's say it's a march 2022 next month i what i will do i will create april 2022 so in this way for every month i used to create one account okay so now april is going to start so i will create with april but not today let me for now i will create just dummy account i am not going to use this one i will create next week okay so this will be my username and password let me put something then i am not a robot i agree term and condition so your name email address mobile number company name unique user name password i am not a robot and select this and then accept and create account okay so what it will do it will create one account for you Okay, user already exist. Okay, so this account got created. I don't know. My net is slow. This ser this server is slow. okay so here you can see this account got created so in this any point platform like this is the platform where we will deploy our mule application and we will write raml we will publish our raml we will apply policy and security all those thing we will do on this account okay so either you can create this account now only today only or you can wait for next uh, monday when we will start our raml part okay why i am saying this like you can wait for next monday since uh, this account will expire in one month but our session will go for one and a half month okay so like uh, we need same account since we will start deployment and all if our account will start like uh, if i will our account will stop working in between then we need to move everything in new account that will be very hectic like it will take lots of effort okay so you just know the process or you can create one dummy account for today to understand the process and then when we will start working on raml you can create one new account and use that account for further is it clear to everyone today everyone create this dummy account since you need to download one software which you can download after creation of this account only Okay, Ravi. In real time, also we'll have same type of uh, user interface where, but it's a licensed one to particular company. Am I correct? Yes, correct. Correct. Yeah. So here also we have lots of capability. Like sixty, seventy percent capability is available in unlicensed account also. This is one month trial account. Okay. So here also we have many things we can do. Okay, sixty, seventy percent things we can do. Okay.
So everyone done with this account creation? Yes, sir. We for for yeah, me right. done. It's already done. Yeah. Okay. So who are new? You need to go to this Anycon Studio and click on this download option. Here you need to ping, select your ping, operating ping, system. Ping, Ravi, ping that URL to the chat room. Maybe I think everybody is able to get the okay. right access that you are. Yeah, I think I think I already see it in chat. No, yeah, this one. Okay, so you need to click on this URL. You need to create one account. There will be sign up option. You need to create account. Once you will create account, you will get download option. Once you will click on this download. You will redirect to next page. Here you need to select your operating system, Window, Mac, Linux. So for example, this is Window. Select this. I agree and click on download. So once you will click on download, sometime this download will start automatically. Sometime it will ask you to click on some link. Okay, but uh, most of the time, yeah, it will start automatically. Let me know if anyone facing any problem to install this software. As I mentioned, this first two day session may be boring for few people if you have already started learning, but we have few uh, beginners also. So we need to take care of those also like so we will first two day only you will have some something you already know. This is repeating things for you, but uh, others need help on this side. So we need to cover everything. Is there anyone who is facing problem? Okay, just put in chat. Is there anyone who hasn't started this download process? So we can help that person. Fine. So this download process will take some time. Okay. But I will explain you like what next you need to do. Uh, one question, Ravi, like, uh, so like as of, I was downloaded 7.11 version. Is there any issue like um, the version mismatches? It will come into the picture. It was downloaded with the lower and higher version. No, no, no. There should not be any problem, but I will suggest go with some lower version, not too much like go with 7.11 is fine. Don't use 7.11.1. That is new one, latest one. After 7.11, there is 7.11.1. .1. So what happened now, there, there will be some bug and all. And like I have seen many people, they are facing some issue when they are starting with latest version. Okay, so I think 7.10 will be very much compatible. But still, if you have 7.11 and 7.11.1, that will also work. There is no such problem. So once your download will be completed, you will get this particular jar file. Zip file. You need to extract this zip file. Okay. So you will get something like. So once you will extract this. So you will get this folder. Okay. What you need to do? Go inside this. Okay. And copy this particular folder. And go to C drive. And paste it here. So I have any point studio six and seven both. Six is used for mule three and seven is used for mule four. You don't need any point studio six that is for mule three and very rarely you will face this mule three code now. Just paste it here. Why I'm asking to paste in C drive since many things like you need to take Tom. Like. Uh, 
program file and all so this if you will keep on this location it will be very much compatible with your any other folder and locations okay if you will not put here if you will use directly here means another location then also that will work but it's a recommended to use to place this particular folder inside c drive let me know if anyone facing any any problem on this part okay so who all has already completed or completed just now this installation part this any point studio platform account and software just put yes in chat so i will come to know how many of you have completed I can see many people done. Is there anyone who is facing problem? So let us know quickly. Otherwise, we will move for next software. Anyone facing any problem? You can quickly tell us. No, fine. Next, we need any point studio software which which we just now we discussed. Okay, now how to start this software? If you have already placed this folder here. click on this link and click on this particular software okay so this will start your software and you we okay we have already this this software is already open so it's along it's creating some problem with workspace so once you will click on this software your you will able to open this particular workspace any point studio workspace and you will able to use your you you will able to develop your mu api for this software you don't need to run any exe file okay so you will directly get application file which you can use direct uh, which you can use to open this software okay fine so next git repository okay second we will see how to create git repository and we will do one uh, learning here like uh, how to use this git repository okay means how to create organization first how to create account how to create organization everything we will cover one by one okay so this one i think uh, many of you don't know maybe you have used a different different repository but and uh, you are not familiar with git and git is widely used repository okay it's very famous so let's start with git repository so here i am going to split this video for each installation 